Here's a question. It'll be question answered in Gordon's. Where did the name Scorchy come from? Scorchy. I believe it came from... I think I made a mistake thinking that it was his hair was so blonde they said he was scorched by the sun. That's what he told me. And then that's what it didn't... I thought it was something else at one point, but I guess that's it. I never realized Scorchy Toys was so difficult. The name, that is, but the mailbag has convinced me. I answer to Scorty Tallis, Scorey Towan, and S. Laws. What's his real name? Charles. Yeah. <laughs> How many years were you this photo doc? I guess about six years. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really uh, an honor. Weren't there a mess of you children when you were a kid? There was quite a few cousins, yeah. And we all went fishing and Pop Pop would come and take, uh, bring the camera, of course. And... Once we started fishing, both Andrew and Michael started hallucinating immediately. Then Andrew caught the supreme disappointment. It was time to call it a day, and we headed for the barn. Nah, the catching wasn't great, and what they did catch was small. But years down the road, the boys will reminisce about the days Grandpa took them fishing. Was that a big thrill for you when you were a kid? I guess at first it was, but then after a while, you kind of, like I said, you get used to it and you don't even think about it anymore. I didn't even, it wasn't even a big deal that he was on TV after a while. Out of all the stories that Scorchy did, and there's a million of them, what one do you think best represents what he was about? I think I would have to say the uh, Eastern Shoreman story, where he talked about what it is to, to be an Eastern Shoreman. The typical Eastern Shoreman is very close to either one of two things, the land or the water. He's an independent cuss who refuses to be rushed and often disturbs language purists by saying such things as there's a mouse in the house or ain't you eat yet. And if you're lucky enough to have him for a friend, you know that under that cold crust is a furnace of warmth and love. I think that meant so much to him being from here. Now, when did he first start teaching you how to shoot? I remember Christmas one year, probably nine or 10 years old, and I was getting video of dad or somebody opening their gift. I remember Pop Pop telling me to come in and get a tight shot, get a shot of his hands, get a shot of this and that. And I'll back up and get a wide shot. And he said, and there you go, you've got a nice sequence now. And I just remember thinking, what in the world is he talking about? What is the sequence? <laughs> this guy comes along, your grandfather, and he captures it for what it was before it disappeared. He awakened this region to realize, hey, we're a region together. Scorchy Taws, one on our Del Marvelous Land for WBOC News.